Okay, hi. Uh, my name is Anub Joseph Kadogaran. Uh, you figure out that I'm a Malayali. Um, there's a Malayalam saying which goes like this. It says, Mukila Rajatil Murimukan Rajava, which means that in a land where nobody has a nose, the guy with a little flesh on the face becomes king. To do with photography, uh, once I picked up, I started shooting and I started shooting food, fashion, um, lifestyle, architecture, but I was like everybody else. There was nothing different from what I did or what the other million guys on Facebook with Facebook pages did. So I decided that I'm going to do something different and I'm going to shoot, start shooting underwater. Uh, I'm not a marine biologist, I'm not a scientist, but whatever I've learned is from Google.com, my best friend, and from all my journeys and all my experiences. How many of you have seen this movie? And for those of you who haven't seen the movie, the story is about a little cute little shark <laughs> swimming alone in the ocean, sees this girl who is drowning, goes to save her. A little blood was spilled, but who cares? Then this boat is uh, drowning and then he goes to save this guy. But the guy's a smoker, so then he, uh, the shark takes on the whole campaign against anti-smoking. Brody doesn't like this, shoots him, kills him, shark's dead. The whole world loved fearing sharks after that, but I was in love. Became a scuba diver, bought an underwater housing. I was a photographer already. Um, started diving and I wanted to start diving with sharks. It took me 100 plus dives before I saw my first shark in the water. Uh, this was at Omadu in the Maldives. It's a rare island. I think about maybe in a week they have about 10 tourists that come to the island. Uh, I made a deal with the guest house saying that I'll come and shoot for free if you're going to show me a shark. And they said, you haven't seen a shark? I said, yeah. How many dives have you done? 100 plus. They let the deals on. Got in the water went down to about 30 meters, and for the first time in my life, I saw a shark. It was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. This species is called the white tip reef shark. It, it cut through the water like it was so easy, while me and my dive buddy were fighting the current and trying to save our lives. And this thing was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. A fact about a shark, the shark's design hasn't changed for the past 400 million years, which means that the sharks existed before there were trees on earth. Sharks were there before there were dinosaurs walking the earth. Came out of the water, all in love with sharks now, and decided I need to do more shark dives. I did a little journey to uh, this little town called Jupiter, which is on the north of Florida, above Miami. And uh, that's a little video from the trip. So uh, that's the boat, we were diving off and that's uh, Randy here and uh, like any other dive you get a boat brief where Randy tells you uh, what parts of the boat you can walk into, like you can't walk into the captain's cabin, you can't, uh, Anup's a smoker so Anup can't smoke here, you can eat the sandwich which is there in that little box there, he tells you about the dive, he tells you how deep you're going to go, on which side the reef is going to be, uh, basic boat briefs. What Randy also does is that he picks up uh, uh, fish from the fish market which hasn't been sold, brings it onto the boat and he chops it up into little pieces and he chumps the water. 
we all jump into the water and as we go down there are waves of sharks coming towards you um, and before we jumped into the water there were other three other photographers on the boat and uh, i had my camera with me i got into the boat and the boys were like uh, are you diving here for the first time and i was like yeah i'm diving here for the first time and they're like oh no and i was like oh no they're like yeah we're not going to get any pictures i wondered why so we kept going down and this is what it looks like more or less when a shark swims towards you from the blue uh, we had waves of uh, bull sharks uh, lemon sharks the odd uh, silky shark that came by um, that's a lemon shark and we got to the bottom we settled down and the most beautiful shark i have ever seen in my life jenny that's her name she has a name and jenny has big beautiful eyes she's got beautiful stripes she's about 12 foot long and jenny kept flirting with me she kept <laughs> swimming towards me and she'd swim out into the blue and she'd come straight back for me she kept doing this going in and out in and out in and out and i was the only one who's getting pictures because all the other photographers the camera down not bother looking at me making a face through the mask came back on the boat and i asked them why did that happen and uh, they said that uh, oh yeah she recognized that your heart signature is new all of us have a fingerprint which is unique to every one of you and your heart signature is unique to every one of you jenny had swam with the other boys on the boat and she knew their heart signature and mine was the only one which was new and my heart was pounding so she kept coming towards me on the second dive she really didn't bother about me she didn't flirt with me she went to the other men heartbroken <laughs> let look at her you want to like catch her and kiss her She's so cute Yeah sometimes you find these sharks cracking some jokes internal jokes laughing and smiling i don't get these sharks sometimes yeah we on the way up uh, we saw a bunch of silky sharks uh more silky sharks that's a little video i'm going to play for you which i haven't shot uh, this is more or less what the dive looked like once the death was on in the little puppies <laughs> so the dive went on and uh, as i was noticing um, some of the sharks had accessories on them very cool but as the dive went on i started seeing bigger hooks in sharks mouths um i asked randy what is happening and he told me that yeah when anglers fishermen go out and fish and you hook a shark which is 12 foot long you're not going to bring him back on the boat put your hand in the mouth and pull out his hook you're going to cut the line and let it go so what randy started doing was um, he started feeding the sharks like he saw and uh, getting them closer to him and he would take out hooks from the sharks mouths uh, did you see the little headbutt in the video the first video uh, where jenny came and headbutted him uh, from the time he pulled out a hook from her mouth it's a kind of a thank you she keeps coming back to him every day and that's like a thank you every day to randy for helping her out once are sharks dangerous you're going to ask me i asked randy this and uh, randy told me this one thing was sharks are wild animals like a tiger or a lion anything else in the wild uh, but sharks have a rule they do not eat 
or kill anything that is healthy. They will only kill something that's sick or dying, which means that they're making sure that the reef is clean and when the reef is clean and when fishermen go out and catch food for you to put on your plate, you're always getting healthy fish. The sharks are really important to the environment and don't kill sharks. Sharks are beautiful. Um, sharks have their sensory organs in their face and uh, it's called ampullae of Lorenzini. Um, when you hold a shark by its face, don't try it. But if you hold a shark by its face, it goes, to this, goes into this state called tonic immobility where it goes to sleep for a bit. And when a shark goes to sleep, that's how Randy and the team pulls out the hooks from their mouth. Um, some sharks love it. Some sharks really don't care about it, don't like it, so they go away. They don't come close to the divers. The sharks that really like it, they come to the divers, let them play with them. They go to sleep for a few seconds and then they swim away. This is the number of hooks that Randy and the team would pull out from the shark's mouth in a day. And this is what they pull out in a week. Uh, from 1975 to 1980, 90% of the sharks in our ocean have disappeared. Humans love fearing sharks and humans think that if they can get rid of that predator, that is harmful to humans, it's going to help. But actually the opposite is, is true. Um, sharks are necessary for the ocean. Uh, sharks make sure that the reefs are clean. And I love sharks, so make sure that sharks don't disappear soon. That's me as a little kid falling in love with the ocean. And something that I learned is from knowing comes caring and from caring comes change. Uh, one thing I'd like to leave you with is to make sure that every one of us can help by spending your money on things that you buy. The things that you buy needs to be things that are going to help sustain the, the ocean and the, and, and the earth. Uh, don't try not to buy things that are going to destroy or mess up the oceans and figure out who and how they're, going to, they're, they're fishing or how they're going to, how they're farming uh, the animals or the fish. Uh, I have fallen in love with the ocean and one of the things I love the most amongst the many things I shoot is the ocean. The ocean is uh, radical, it's fierce, it's violent, but it's beautiful. And one thing I believe in is if you fall in love with something, you will protect it. And if you protect the ocean, she will be kind to every one of us. Thank you so much. Yeah, a bunch of other images I've shot in the ocean.